checking a scale model of the solar system and I'm going to use this as the sun, it's a 61 centimeter bulb that generates a lot of static electricity and I shall zap my dad. And then next is Mercury which will be a grain of sand, Venus will be a, a very small piece of the other Play-Doh, Earth will be another small piece of the other Play-Doh, Mars will also be a pinhead, um, Jupiter will be a ball. Have. Uranus and Neptune are both going to be blue pieces of Play-Doh and Pluto will be a Um, as you can see this was the beach roll I showed you earlier. Now I'm paper macheing it and after it's dried I will paint it. Yet. What's the recipe for the paper mache? Um, two cups of water, two cups of flour and a pinch of soap. How many layers will you put on? Uh, just one or two. Um, I'm painting the sun yellow even though it's actually white, but astronomers call it the sun a yellow star and most people think it's yellow, so I just paint it yellow. You weren't looking at the camera. Okay, this is the sun spray painted it and I've also painted it yellow, yeah. And I paper measured it. This is Neptune. As you can see, it's very small compared to that. But this is Jupiter. Saturn with the exact proportion for its rings. Uh, Uranus. Uh, Earth, as you can see, is even smaller compared to that. Venus, a tiny bit smaller than Earth. Mercury, very small. Pluto, the smallest, almost invisible, and Mars, smaller than Earth and Venus. And do you have, is the moon there? Um, the moon has currently been lost. What are we going to do about that? Um, so here's our sun, and I'm going to put it on the top of that tower, the DNA. Um, well, here's our sun on top of the DNA tower. We're going to put the rest of the planets all the way down that green strip, all the way as far as it would take. So that's a lot of walking. So, yeah, bye bye. Okay, here is Mercury. In proportion, it's about 25 meters from the sun, which is up there. So, but I'm putting Mercury right here on this rock. Tiny little thing. Okay, so here, so here I am again. And I am placing Venus where I am standing. The sun, as you can see, is all the way up there. Yep. And so Earth is here. There you go. So the moon is about 17 centimeters away from the Earth. So I measured it with a ruler, it's a 15 centimeter ruler. Added two centimeters, and I, it's actually there. So that's the Earth and our Moon. So now that I've done Mars, I the asteroid belt would be around about somewhere here, and those are the four inner planets. Where's Mars? Right there. It's a bit hard to see. Yeah, it's there. See, Mars. Okay. And this is how far we are from the sun. A tiny little dot. A lot more. So where's Jupiter? Jupiter is there. Where that? Jupiter is right there. It's about a third of the way. 
third of the way to, to Lockerlin Drive. Third of the way to that road. So, yeah. All right. So, here is where Jupiter should be. See, that's the DNA town. If you can look really closely, you can see the sun on top of that. Okay, so walk. We are at um where Saturn is meant to be. Oh, this is space. 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 Neptune, we have to go all the way past the park and down the path on the other side. No, we don't have to go down the path. Oh, that's right, because you calculated wrongly before. So that means we put Uranus in the wrong place. Uranus should be further back. About there, you think? Yeah. All right, so that's where you pass the park. So here I am to put the last planet, Neptune. Here, here on this memorial. As you can see, or not really, planet. All our planets are down that grass pole. All the way back to where the sun was. was yeah. So, so where's where's Uranus? Uranus is like halfway there, yeah, kind of thing. Halfway to the road. Yeah. Which is which I can barely see in this. Yeah. And then Saturn and Neptune, Saturn and Jupiter. Saturn and Jupiter even further past that road. And all the inner planets are near the tower. So Voyager 1 has gone quite a long way. So what does this all tell you about how we've explored space so far? It's a very big place.